All right, this is big chemistry news. Now this table shows all the compounds formed when these atoms triple bond with these atoms. And as you can see, there are no boron carbon triple bonds. They just don't exist until now. German chemists reported the synthesis of a stable orange solid. Now the bond angles in the X-ray crystal structure look pretty linear and the molecule reacts in ways that other molecules with triple bonds do. So the researchers drew the molecule like this. But triple bonds are usually drawn as three solid lines, so I was expecting something like this. Problem is, both the boron and the carbon in this structure have more than eight electrons around them, which, as you know, is verboten in chemistry. Drawing a Lewis structure from scratch gives us this, which shows a double bond between boron and carbon, not a triple bond. But if we do some electron pushing, we can draw another resonance structure. One's got a double bond, and one's got a triple bond. So what's going on here? What, what's this bond? Is it double or triple? Here's a computational model of the molecule that accurately matched all the spectroscopic measurements. That's key. This is a classic triple bond arrangement. Two orthogonal pi bonds. One, two. And remember, there's the linearity and the reactivity from before. So, yes, this really is a triple bond. And now we can finally fill in the gap in the table. It was really bothering me. 